Hey guys, welcome to Lara Tips. Today is the episode 2 of this VS Code tips and tricks video where I bring the very small tips and tricks about VS Code. And if you haven't watched my previous video then make sure to watch that video. You might like that one also. So today in this video guys, I am just showing you how to make your this VS Code UI a little bit minimal. You just have to memorize some of the keyboard shortcuts and you will be good to go. So guys, you can see here on the sidebar here this is the explorer, this is source, this is source control here you can see the settings yeah and this one is SSH FS so it is not present by default in the VS code so I've just installed an extension so because of that it's showing up here so don't worry about that you don't need this so guys if you hover over here now you can share guys the shortcut for this is control shift E and for Mac users it's command shift E so whenever I say control it's command for Mac so if I type here control shift E then you can share guys it is showing and if I type here control shift F now you can share guys I can see this source yeah so if I hover over here it is not showing for some menus it will show but for some menus it will not show so you can share guys it's a source and how to know that shortcut so we'll just press control shift P and we'll say here source like this and you can share guys here find in files it's saying control shift f so when i click on this it will open this so let me just go to this one and let me just press on control shift v and click on this search file finding files then when i click on here now you can see here guys it is showing so in that way we can know the shortcut okay and this one is called the source control and i have mapped it to control shift g by default there is no any shortcut for this in vs code but i have created a shortcut key for that so let me show you how i have done that so i'll just say Control shift p here and again for mac it's command shift p and i'll just say here keyboard shortcuts here preferences open keyboard shortcuts if i click here then you can share guys the keyboard shortcuts all of them are open now here i'll say source control like this and you need this one guys this source control focus on the source control view here just click on this icon so if you haven't defined any shortcut over here then it will show this plus icon and if you already have the defined then you will show this edit icon pencil icon so just click on the plus icon because it will show a plus icon in your vs code so let me show one for you in this one so here it will show this box and whatever you type here let's say control alt shift s like this then and hit enter then this shortcut key will be assigned to this action so for this i have defined here control shift g because if you see here guys for explorer it's control shift e so i am just following the same pattern and similarly we can do this for this run and debug control shift d and for this extension control shift x it is by default present and let's say if you want to go inside the settings yeah so here if we go here inside the settings so we can see all the menu like this but if you see here like guys here so it's control comma so let me just close this and press on control comma now you can see here guys the settings is already opened so you just need to memorize some of these commands and now we can hide this bar from here so just go to view and appearances and just there is a tick mark in this show activity bar just click on it and now it will be hidden and also guys wherever you are so let's say so currently i am in source control now if i want to go into the explorer control shift e if i want to just find something then control shift f now if i want to install some extension then i also control shift x like this and now guys how to hide this to hide this you need to just press control v like this whatever it can be it can be either extension or explorer or source box you can just press ctrl v and it will just hide that panel so we have a little bit more room over here if you want then you can also hide this bar as well as this menu bar but that's personal preference and also guys there is one mini map by default it is visible so currently i have disabled it so just go here ctrl shift p and p and if you just click on this toggle mini map then it will show yeah and if you don't want this to be visible then just hit ctrl shift p and source for toggle minimap and hit enter then it will automatically hide and it will again give you some room for coding so i hope you enjoyed this video guys again in the future i'll be coming with some other tips and tricks so if you are enjoying this kind of video then let me know in the comment section below i'll be just 
I'll just bring you more and more new tips and tricks about VS Code. So that's it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.